I'm Robin Cairns. I'm the screen printer, sign maker, and poet. Well, I got into poetry um, on Millennium Night. I was at Manchester Airport on my way out to the Canary Islands. And uh, I had done a certain amount of writing before, but I was inspired by something that happened. I went to the toilets at Manchester Airport. Somebody had been before. And that inspired me to write over the next ten days to the horror of my wife, the jobby that would me flush. When wear and tear has worn and torn right through my soul, and there's a hole. Not with Bibles, Buddhas, ologies, or isms do I tarry. No, in my hour of need, I hear the still, small voice of Barry. Is there such a thing as the tartan zeitgeist? So zeitgeist, that's a German word, isn't it? That means uh, spirit of the age, or is it spirit of the day? I think it's spirit of the age. So I mean, uh, is there something going on in Scotland that's distinctly now that hasn't been before and is not like to be repeated? I don't know. <laughs> Mission control, spread the moon landing news. I walk an inch taller in platform shoes. Back in the space age, I was just a cadet. Smoking a hookah, watching the snooker, happy with a black and white set. There's an element of nonsense in the, in the stuff that I do. There's a, a childish, there's a children's element. I've written quite a lot of children's stuff, which... Um, uh, I don't often perform because uh, the idea of that is to get it illustrated in, as a book. Um, I write uh, humour, um, almost entirely humour. I, I see myself as a Saturday night writer, as in uh, I would like to think that if you see me perform, it's the sort of thing you might want to see on a Saturday night rather than on Channel 4 on a Tuesday at half past nine. You know? Scotch way, whoop de doo it's all very well for the likes of you. But there's money a Scot who would rather not have the Scots wahe all shoving you. So remember you as takes your solace, free oozing along with bleeding Wallace. Scots wahe are far and away outnumbered by Scots wahovni. <laughs> Scots wahovni is about uh, apathy, but it's also about innocence. And um, innocence and apathy have uh, things in common. Um, somebody who has no experience also is somebody who is not corrupted. Uh, it's a response to Burns, uh, one of Burns' uh, most warlike poems. It's uh, Scots for Hay. Is, uh, it's bloodthirsty. That's what it's about. I'm making fun of it. I'm not trying to draw conclusions. Um, but uh, I feel that, uh, this is one case where Burns has to be answered. Scots was mommy, wouldn't he let them? Scots and Scots and Scots. Admittedly short of a t-shirt or two, but cheery enough and blithe. We neither invented the telephone, nor found the donkey or joined the dots. Is likely to be led by Bruce's to dance like Bruce for sight. <laughs> Scots war freedom take for granted. Scots war mumble the ancient songs. Is this no what Don Wallace wanted? Ignorant Scots, untroubled barongs. Cause, cause, cause it hardly be worth the fighting for. If he didn't think fighting could finish war and dream of the day, his own name was forgotten by innocent Scots, unspoilt, rotten. <laughs> Mr. Robin Cairns.